Hi Aries, welcome to your new moon in Aries Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Aries, the new moon is on March 21st, and that's the first day of your lunar season. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not an astrologer, so if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, Aries, we're going to take a look at how this energy, and this is really for all of Aries season, so it's really for like the next month, this reading, um, but it is for the March new moon. And, you know, Aries you know the energy so it could be really um relevant for you since it is in your sign it's your season it's your new moon uh it's a take charge kind of energy going for what we want as well so we'll see how that plays into your love reading all right aries about going for our dreams making things happen so no matter your situation we're just going to see what comes out here Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs it mentions. And if any time uh, you feel the need to switch energies around, you definitely can do that. Cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. So welcome in Aries. Happy birthday. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. I know this is out a little before your birthday, but... um. This is going to kick off the really going into the April readings, you know, once we complete these March new moon readings, which this will go into the next new moon. So we could take it for the next month Then we go into the April readings. So I'm just going to say happy birthday now. All right, Aries. So let's see what is going on. So we have here 2810, which is, you know, completions, full circles, could be endings, new beginnings, caring empathy acceptance and gentleness we have compassion let's see we have oh sacral chakra eight action travel movement putting in the work sacral chakra is where all our passion lies you know it's kind of right in the groin area so it's passion not only passion passion but passion to get things done make things happen kind of energy as well we have seeing 37 so you have two tens here Perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. Hmm. Trusting our intuition. That's like a third eye. And we have support, love, signs, direction, and we have guidance. We have 47, which is an 11. Soul path, life path energy. I'm kind of feeling here, Aries. Um, I'm kind of feeling like this is a new beginning for you. And you're excited and you're fiery and you're passionate towards going into some sort of new energy here because it's a love reading so it definitely could be love i think you're more divinely connected now you're more intuitive you're more all seeing and knowing and paying attention intuitively to everything around you and i think you're letting that energy guide you in a new direction here and it does say love and we have pink here which could be new love and we have green which is the heart chakra and green always reminds me of like earth energy, stability, kind of energy as well. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's see. So I think what I'm going to do here, um, Aries, I'm going to ping guide it to kind of do it a little different. I'm going to clarify actually each card and see what it means for you during this new moon energy. And you know, new moon is about new intentions new energy new beginnings so let's see let's see i forgot to mention that at the beginning everything you need to know is down below aries your playlist is down there list of readings i do here and i will be adding twin flame readings in april for april so if you want to go to the community tab you can vote on this a poll for twin flames what would you like to see me read on in those readings so you can vote on that and if you like general readings check the link below for my smaller channel. I do two general readings per month for sign over there. All right. So let's see compassion. What is that about? Four. Well, we have the four of wands. Hmm. Okay. Four of wands. The six of wands in reverse. The two of swords. 
Page of Pentacles. That's new energy. And the tower. Hmm. So, yeah, I kind of feel like here, Aries, that's you with the tower, actually, right there. Something here on the in the home front, because this Four of Wands is about home, Six of Wands reverse, no success or victory there. Two of Swords making a decision to, you know, maybe uh, communicate here about the real tangible things that need to be communicated about. And this could be like a big blow up and breakdown of something. So I definitely feel like here, maybe there was discussion here, decision on ending an unsuccessful maybe marriage or something like that. Now, this could have been in the past because I feel like you're going into something new. For some of you, this could have been like um, two years ago or maybe the divorce was final like up to six months ago or something like that. But um, we do have Capricorn, so maybe your divorce was final in um, Capricorn season, which would be the end of December into January. I know this seems kind of soon, but maybe this was something that was a long time coming as well eight of pentacles in reverse so no longer putting the work into something here and the devil in reverse so no more no ill energies are surrounding this i feel but i feel like it definitely made your mind up here to move in a new direction with this two of wands in reverse five of pentacles so getting out of something something in this relationship you knew it was lacking it started to kind of fall apart unravel uh there was a lot of lack energy on both sides as well as kind of what i'm feeling here king wants i could be you aries right here yep so I, yeah you're manifesting new right here with the magician putting up some healthy boundaries here nothing wrong with that so we have gemini virgo the aries that could be leo or aries uh let's see capricorn aries and capricorn there as well so i think having you know understanding acceptance caring gentle compassion energy towards that but you know that's in the past now so now could even been like up to eight months ago where you know it was finalized and i think now you're getting ready to go into something new i feel something that's gonna really i feel like light your fire but let's see what the sacral chakra so you're gonna be ignited i feel <laughs> so what is the sacral chakra what is the fire and passion about for Aries. Three of Cups in reverse. The Moon in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Well, that is no longer being single. Queen of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Oh my God. Are you going from one commitment to the next? <laughs> I'm just saying. We have the King Queen of Pentacles upright. That's like my committed couple of the deck here. I, I feel like here, maybe, you know, you had a connection maybe before you ended this one or vice versa, maybe the person you're connecting with. So if you're not, well, I'm not the one, if you're saying to yourself, I'm not the one that, you know, just got divorced or out of a situation, they are, like I said, you could switch the energy here. But it's almost like, because the Three of Cups in reverse, that's like my courting, dating, getting to know card. That's in reverse. It's like you already know this person. This isn't someone you have to date. And the moon in reverse, it's like you already know. I mean, the moon in reverse can be maybe something you don't see coming, unexpected, out of the blue, um, with it upright, something you didn't like see. But this is all seeing and knowing. It's like you know this person. This is like going from jumping from one commitment or relationship to the next, I feel. And I see a very committed energy here with the King, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> And I think you're really excited about this as well. This person really lights your fire, I think. So let's see. We I gotta let my cat out. We have Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, it's probably gonna want to come back in. Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces showing up here. Well, that was an unexpected twist. Let's see. Three of Swords. That's about heartache, pain, disappointment. Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Well, the other person you were connected to definitely could have been heartbroken, but you're definitely moving in a new direction here with the Wheel of Fortune. That's about positive movement forward. So I don't know if you were the one that wanted to leave this other situation. Maybe they still had love for you or whatever the case may be. Somebody here definitely still has love and they're heartbroken, but somebody's moving in a new direction. That is for sure. Yeah. 
Sun reverse, somebody is not happy about this. There's some stress here. So I don't know if we're going to have to watch out for this past person that may not be over the situation. I don't know. Let's see. We have uh, Leo showing up. Sag, Leo, Christopher, Scorpio, Cancer. Hmm. Hierophant. That is about marriage and commitment. Wow. I, I'm kind of feeling like... Uh, and we do have three. Now, I'm not saying it's third party, but it's like, there's like, okay, the past situation, the new situation, but there's something from the past here that may um, not be happy about this, but we're gonna see where this is going. And I know some of you probably don't wanna hear about the past or anything like that, but it wants to come out. So I don't know. So let's see what this scene is about for you Aries what is this seeing about for Aries perspective truth knowledge and clarity seeing it's like you have, that is your third eye seeing knowing and a couple more here nine of swords the devil in reverse the fool oh I got six okay put one back because I only want five so Nine of Swords, Devil in Reverse. I don't feel like you have any ill intentions. You have no ill feelings towards the past, but somebody is still stressed out. You're moving in a new direction here. You're taking that leap of faith, but somebody feels like it's injustice here. And there's that Three of Pentacles again. So you may have to keep an eye on the past. That's kind of what I'm feeling here because something may try to interfere with this three here that's kind of what i'm feeling because somebody feels like you moving on is an injustice for them but you have no you have no guilt you have no i don't want to say remorse you don't have any ill feelings or negative energies towards the past you're just moving forward but somebody in the past here is still stressed out and they feel like it's an injustice here and with this three of pentacles i don't know this person Two of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So they may be watching the whole situation. They may be spying on social media. They uh, may be checking you out. What are you doing? Two of Pentacles. So they're definitely weighing out the situations here. And they're going to make a decision to do something here. Yeah, the Queen of Swords here can be a divorced person. So we have Libra showing up here. So I would just kind of be careful. Pay attention to the past. I know you may, may not want to do that. But... Um, because you may have something unexpected rush into you with this Knight of Swords. Six of Pentacles. That's like the Minor of Justice for me. Two of Wands. And there's that Queen of Cups showing up again. I'm just saying. So, yeah. I don't think this person wants you to move on. They still feel like you're their sign. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you're going on to something new and excited that you definitely, definitely uh, are ready for. So let's see what this guidance means. I definitely feel like you're being guided to this new direction. Support, love, signs, direction, guidance. Oh, so what is that about? Four Aries. Four Aries. What is that about? This guidance. Four Aries. Let's see, we have Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra. I think I forgot to mention the signs. What is this guidance for Aries? Okay, Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. See, so you're moving on, but there's something still stuck in your energy here. Oh boy. So what is the guidance here about this for Aries? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're moving into new love right here. I could see it. It's going to bring you ultimate fulfillment and happiness. This is going to go the long distance because you're going boom right to the Ace to the Ten. Two of Wands. You've already chosen that path. So stay on your path. You're going in the right direction. But there's still something tied to you with this Eight of Swords that may be following like behind you. So you're going to have to kind of pay attention to what, if this is you or them, they, and you're going to need to pay a little attention to that past person because I don't feel like um, they're happy about the situation here. So let's see, we don't have any signs showing up here. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, healthy boundaries in some way here. Ten of Pentacles, again, that could be a divorce. Nine of Wands, uh, two cards of setting up healthy boundaries here. Seven 
uh, blocking, setting up boundaries any way you can. Seven and nine of wands. Five of cups. Somebody is sad and conflicted about uh, loss here. So you definitely are going, you know, this has been a long time coming for you to be with this person. It is a soulmate here with the lovers, Gemini, and you're definitely excited beyond extremely excited to be with this person. And King of Swords could be a Gemini. And then we have Leo here with the strength card. So this is, so I think the situation will overcome. Somehow you may just have to set boundaries in place here some way, somehow some reason here but this is a strong connection that cannot be denied many past lives together and i feel like um it's definitely your time now to be with this person so we have two cards of gemini here leo um let's see okay so i want to look more into this new energy for you what does the future look like with your new person for aries I'm just feeling, I just keep hearing, be careful of the past person creeping up on you. That's what I keep hearing, but I want to look at this new love. We do see it going to the Ten of Cups, so what else does Aries need to know here? Oh, the King of Cups. Didn't we have the Queen of Cups? Yeah, so that is a match. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. The Lovers. And the king of wands. That could be you, Aries. For some, it could be same sex. doesn't have to be. But um, we have Pisces showing up here, Gemini. And that could be you, Aries. Or for me, that's Leo. But um, that could be you, Aries, since, you know, it's all fire anyway. I feel like now, I, I'm just feeling like now you can be with your soulmate. No more illusion, confusion. All that energy has been lifted. You made the choice. Um, no more be being in separation. And I do see the divine connection here with the lovers. It's actually time now. But uh, be a little wary about that past person. I'm just saying. So not only is there passion, but there's love as well. And Six of Pentacles, a well-balanced connection here. Page of Cups, lots of love and affection, compassion, understanding, caring, sincerity. You could actually uh, lead to marriage with this new person as well. We do have the Hierophant here and the Emperor. Just saying saying divine energy here and this is high level energy here with the hierophant learning growing expanding tradition standards values morals beliefs traditional energy and aries that's you so finally uh you could have known this person uh six of cups here you could have known this person from the past and now you're going to be together again. I don't think it's the past past person, but also this is the ending of that past recent past person here as well. That's heartbroken three of swords. I, I still feel like they're going to try to come in and do something here. You may have to get a restraining order or something. I don't know. Take sort of some sort of legal action. This person may be a little crazy. I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. Let's see. We have Gemini, Aquarius. Two cards of Aquarius here. Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. Aries, that's you. Taurus, Pisces. So I see really good energy and yeah, strength. You will overcome this whole situation. And again, the strong connection here that you're meant to be with is right here. So we have Leo energy. All right. So let's pull you some of these and see what this has to say. This is the Witch's Oracle. Oh, Aries, I hate, I, I kind of hate it too when past energy like this shows up interfering in something, a great, new, wonderful, fiery, passionate, loving soulmate connection and a past person goes a little cuckoo, but <laughs> let's see here, Aries. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, list of readings. I do here, Twin Flames will be added next month, and you can go to the uh, community poll, vote on the tab, what kind of reading you would like to see in the Twin Flame readings and general readings on smaller channels below two general readings a month let's see homeland foundation yeah you're about to build a new foundation with this person definitely here yeah. and it's funny because the four of wands came out first up here that is about the home you could be like already to move in with this new person as well 
fire, passion. Oh my God, sacral chakra. That's passion as well. <laughs> and hand fasting union. Yeah, right here. Look, look at. And I see a ring again. You could be getting like married to this new person already. Maybe you weren't married to the past person. It could have been a living situation or just a long-term commitment. But isn't that crazy? The lovers holding hands here. Union, passion, foundation. Wow. I'm feeling like one more. Is there one more? Oh, yeah, there we go. And we have respect, pentacle. So, again, setting healthy boundaries here. Now, I'm not saying to do anything bad, like, you know, whatever. Like casting a spell, right? No, no. I'm just saying setting some sort of healthy boundary here. And that pentacle can be like the ace of pentacles. The offer, the engagement, the moving in, making it real. And lithia, intensification. Yeah, it, it may get a little, a little intense coming up here. So you're going to have to watch out because I think this person from the past may be a little intense. But I think you're going to get over that. Somehow you're going to deal with it and finally leave it in the past and put it at bay and this person's going to get it and finally leave you alone. But I see a great, great new union here for you as well, Aries. Wow. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Wishing the best and I shall see you next time.